Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, I am going to show you how to create pie chart and tree map in Power BI Desktop. So guys, we all have to agree that visuals are the end result of any business intelligence undertaking. We all want to take in data, analyze it and present it in a compelling and insightful way in such a way that we can show what stands out the best. Now in Power BI Desktop, we have all sorts of compelling visuals and almost endless way to customize them. Now as of now, what we'll be focusing on is how to create pie maps and tree maps in Power BI Desktop. So let's go ahead and see in our practical approach how it is done. Hello friends and welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to see how to build projection in Power BI. So far what we have seen is how to import the data, how to make changes using the Power Query Editor and how to introduce columns, how to introduce DAX formulas. Now that is the backend process while creating the projection. So these are the things that are required to make a structured data and after making that structured data we'll be using that particular data to create the projection under this re uh, report view all right so this is what the power bi is ultimately built for to create the report that we want with the structured data that we already have with us all right so let's go ahead and create the projection now in this particular video we'll be creating a pie chart and a tree map all right so let's go ahead and and create a pie chart so creating a pie chart is very simple you simply have to go to this visualization pane under that visualization pane you can see there are so many projection that we can use now our focus as of now is to create a pie chart so I will simply click on this pie chart the moment I click on this pie chart there's an empty pie chart which can be seen as uh, as we do not have any kind of data that has been entered in this pie chart that's the reason it is looking in a black and white shade all right so let's go ahead and add some data to it so that it becomes visually more appealing all right so let's go ahead and create a pie chart let's say for the different segment and how much revenue they have generated all right so in order to do that I will move to the product table and under the product table I have segments so I'll simply select this segment and drag it on my pie chart all right the moment I drag it on my pie chart it is a uh, Create, it is creating a new visualization but before that it also needs some values along with it all right so I will go under the sales fact and under the sales fact I have this revenue all right and I'll simply pick this revenue either I can drop it here or you can see there is a values uh, section in which I can drop the revenue the moment I drop the revenue out here you can see a pie chart is being created right in front of your screen in two clicks itself so that's how easy is to build projection in power bi which make it some visually more appealing what do you think guys doesn't it all right so let's go ahead and see what else can be done out here now you can see uh, we have already uh, seen how to include or exclude a particular category right now this is how you select uh, or you, this is how you create a pie chart now on this you can see there are different labels altogether and if you take your hover your mouse there is a tool tip which is basically showing me the segment and the revenue and the percentage along with it as you can see if I move on to the next segment it is showing me its particular segment name the revenue and the percentage along with it all right guys so this is what the supply chart is talking about now if I go under the visualization pane under that there's a format pane a format button as well which will help me to format this particular pie chart let's say for an example few people do not like do not like this particular format so they can change it as well if you go under this format button under this format button I have all these options so if you see there is a legend button which is firstly turn off if you turn it on see what happens I can see all the segments but this is an unnecessary repetition of uh, the category as we can see it on the labels as well so I will turn it off so that it becomes much more uh, visually appealing don't you think so all right also if you can see there is a detail label as as of now it is on if I make it off see what happens it just becomes a blank uh, without any headers chart right so again it does not give me any understanding so I'll simply turn this on this is a title so title basically it's on right now what happens if I turn it off see the title is gone so I do want the title to be there so I'll simply click on on button all right now 
you can also select the alignment where it should be aligned to whether it should be aligned at center or extreme right or extreme left it depends how you want it let's make it in the middle all right so it looks a little nicer and the text size let's increase a little bit so that I can get an understanding all right so the, now it looks better with so it is basically it's a pie chart of revenue by different segment altogether all right so this is how simple it is also we have some lock aspect uh, and border as well if you want to turn on the borders that means uh, if you select outside this particular chart you can see there is a, a black line which apparently does not look nice so I will simply select it and turn off the borders all right because this is how it will look good and it seems that it is occupying much more less of a space all right guys so this is was all about how to create a pie chart very simple as that now moving on with the next one is to create a tree map all right so let's go ahead and create a tree map so we'll be creating a tree map with the reference with manufacturer and how much revenue they have generated all right so under the visualization pane if you see there should be one tree map which is right here so I simply click on it the moment I click on it same feature can be seen that it's in uh, black and white format as it is a tree map without any entries to it so that's the reason it is show it is showing in black and white format let's go ahead and add some columns to it so I'll simply go under the manufacturer tab and I will simply click on manufacturer and drag it in the tree map itself and also I will be needing the revenue so from the sales fact I will pick revenue and drag it here or out here so this time we will drag it here so moment I drag it do you see we can get the visual right away with the help of two clicks right it does not even take even a single second to process this is how the good Power BI is it does not require any uh, loading efforts because it understand that its entire purpose is to get the projection so the projection is being uh, created in within a fraction of seconds guys all right so this is what a tree map is all about now we will also go ahead and see what does this color saturation do under this tree map now in this tree map you can see all this name of all the manufacturers and these are in a block diagram in such a way that uh, basically if I hover my mouse it shows the name of the manufacturer and the revenue generated in different block wise all right let me get it a little bit much more on the left hand side so that you can see to, you can have a better view of it all right and let me expand this as well all right so there you go you have all the list of all the manufacturer and the revenue generated by them all right this is very simple guys now also let's go ahead and add this unit section into the color saturation and see what happens so I'll simply pick this unit uh, column and drag it in the color saturation the moment I drag it in color saturation now this report is giving me revenue by units by the manufacturer so more darker the color is the more the revenue and more lighter the color is less as the revenue as you can see for Palma it is one two eight five one if I go down for Salvus it is two five eight double four which is the bare minimum and it is rep represented as the most lightest blue among all these and simply if I go to Van Ardessel it is showing me the maximum revenue and the maximum units that has been generated by this particular manufacturer all right guys so this is all about it now if you also go here it is in the format section it is showing you the same feature which we which we have already seen in the pie chart as well so if you want to format your particular tree map you can simply go under this format section and make the necessary changes the way you want it all right guys so this is how you can create a pie chart and a tree map in power bi hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time